All right, thanks, John. One question I had is sort of how can, how can I most effectively engage in conversations about the potential use of newly, you know, new and emerging technologies, the, uh, you know, sort of the chat GPT, large language models with leadership. And I see uh, Sandeep put a similar question in the text. Um, so maybe we could start with that, John. So in terms of uh, who are you thinking there in terms of the personas who'd be engaging? So with leader, like, how do you explain it to, to leadership who's probably yeah. seeing a lot of, uh, you know, seeing a lot of buzz about it and understand yeah, what absolutely. Understand. Yeah. Yeah. So, so I think, and uh, chat GPT is a, is a, is a perfectly, uh, uh, pretty much the perfect uh, storm of this. Uh, I think it very much uh, is one, uh, a situation in which you can develop a great deal of credibility uh, in a very short amount of time by being able to provide very clear and informed insights on how to actually interact with these technologies. Most importantly, uh, when it comes to any kind of technology, and AI is no different, there's no such thing as AI for the sake of AI outside of an academic setting. If you're inside of a business, you are not trying to use AI, you're trying to solve problems. And right. the most fundamental thing that you can do is to reach a level of understanding of say large language models, uh, which is, you don't need to be an expert, but you can reach a, a level of understanding whereby you can effectively participate in a conversation about what are the problems that we could potentially solve right now with this. And the very easy way to start that is to look at the problems you already know you have. Don't try to make up new problems or try to dig out some small issue that honestly isn't going to move the needle. You are likely already know what your issues are. Look yeah. at that list again. Perhaps there, are, there were elements on that list that have been kind of sitting there for some years as just very difficult problems that you didn't really know how you were going to effectively tackle. Those are a great one to look at when something relatively new comes along and to see, well, does this open up an avenue for me to solve this problem? Uh, a classic example there being, you may feel that you've already squeezed all of the efficiency you can out of your call centers. Well, that's likely true, but what if you were to take a large language model and leverage that as part of that experience? Could you in fact find a significant uh, efficiency increase where before that seemed like a, a problem that wasn't going to get much better? Uh, you will also likely find a number of other problems that you have around say knowledge management that are well known, well understood, uh, in which this kind of technology could be a great success. And so your role can be to say, let's talk about how we could actually use this, not conceptually, but in a real way, let's sketch out what that project could look like. Mm -hmm. And very importantly, let's talk about what the limitations are. A classic example here being chat GPT. It's probably a great idea to speak with your leadership about how chat GPT itself is essentially all about sending your information outside of your organization to a non-trusted third party. So ChatGPT as an, or as an entity is not how you are going to succeed. And you could very easily point out that it's not like you as a banking or insurance institution are going to push a bunch of your information out into an API call uh, with no controls. Now, mm -hmm. that is a great opportunity to then say, so what we're going to need to do here is think about, do we want to use a large language model? And if so, we absolutely could, but we'll need to think about building something and hosting it internally. And that could be a, a very straightforward project. You're now in a position to have something productive with someone. And you're also in a great position to ensure that uh, you put out a little bit of messaging about how nobody in your organization should actually use ChatGPT directly. Uh, and they cer certainly shouldn't be sending any material uh, into that uh, API call. So again, this is, this is a way in which, you know, with a little bit of work on your side, that really is, will already play to your existing strengths, given you're all here in this conversation you'll be able to provide very informed uh, insight, which you know isn't going to uh, have some kind of project get set up tomorrow, but it will lay the foundation for you being able to be in a leading position for the projects that do get set up and hopefully help your organization dodge a couple of uh, hurdles along the way. Okay. Uh, um, so I saw, uh, yeah, I'd happy to answer any uh, another question that's there. Sure, yeah, let's, uh, I think we're, all, we're might be over yeah, on time. So um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, thank you for, for joining today. And uh, please uh, reach out directly to John if you have additional questions. 
Um, this is really interesting. Um, 